right, so today we're going to be installing the MIDI touch bar extension that will allow you to use your MacBook Pro touch bar within Ableton Live or Cubase. I'll be doing it for Ableton Live 10 and let's go ahead and get it done. Right click on Ableton Live in your applications folder, show package contents, that basically opens the folder, then navigate contents, app resources, MIDI remote scripts, and then we got to drag the correct MIDI touch bar folder that we downloaded into the MIDI remote scripts folder. And I'm just going to drop it from out here. Click move, replace, since I already have it, had it in there. And now we're going to open up Ableton Live. And we're going to go to applications and go to our MIDI touch bar. Loading up live is taking a second. There we go. So MIDI was downloaded from the internet. He doesn't recognize it, so let's say open anyways. Now you can see it's open up here. Go ahead and then check for update. I just updated to the new version, so we should be good. So now we're gonna go into Ableton go into our preferences, which I just hit the command button and the comma to open up preferences real quick. But you can also open them up from right here. And then in the preferences, we got to go to the MIDI and put in the MIDI touch bar. So in here, let's switch up this one. MIDI touch bar right here. We'll say input from MIDI touch bar surface and all right so go ahead and choose MIDI touch bar surface here and you'll notice it'll pop up down here as well and it doesn't matter but you can just go ahead and turn all of those on and then the last step that we have to do is go up here and say control surface mode and now you can't see my keyboard but all of my MIDI controls have popped up down here. 